Hey y'all, welcome to Owls Outdoors. Been a tough season. We did limit out on cats there in the last video. Two cats in two days, that was pretty awesome. But, uh, tough year, 70 degrees today. I'm still wearing my jacket because I need all my pockets to carry stuff. We're trying for you, we're working hard. I'm trying to figure out how to upload a huge, huge, huge file video. My phone's giving me fits. So. I might go to the computer store and we'll get it up, but uh, we'll see how this one goes. Well, I told you guys, showed my daughter's boyfriend how to catch possums and raccoons, but I saw bobcat tracks. Yay! I guess I did a good job. <sighs> so tired of possums. Okay, y'all, I just parked. I seen something up here. I ain't sure what it is yet myself. I got a cubby up here. Been there, caught one possum. I think. Oh my word, it's a fox. <laughs> I haven't seen a fox in a long time. I knew he was here. Oh, that's awesome. That makes my year right there. We'll take it. Pretty fine. I have me a muskrat carcass buried there. Ooh, smells like fox. Oh my goodness. I got him good too. Hey now. Hey now. You, I like. You know. <laughs> All right. It's been a long time since I caught a fox. I keep my pan tension kind of high. We'll take it. Boy, it smells good here now. Not too bad, little fox. I think it's a young one. Not sure. Eh, maybe not. Got the... huh. I like foxes. They really make you work for it. They're smart. I've been down here after these muskrats or something. See their tracks a lot down on the creek. Seen him cross the bridge in the snow and go right down in underneath that bridge. He dug out some sheep's wool a few times at a different set. We tricked him a little bit with old muskrat carcass right there. Had it covered up with all this. Just checked it from a distance and waited and waited. There he is. Well, I got one jumping, finally. Yeah, buddy. He's trying to hide from me now. You gonna bark at me? Uh. Right, gone. you made a mess out of that, didn't you? You don't look too good either. Hey, now. You rubbed a little bit or something. You look better than that last one. Uh, well, like I said, uh, fur's finally moving, y'all. I have worked my butt off. It's the first set I've checked on a second property today, so we'll see how we do. Whew, been a long haul. We're getting near to the end of the season here. We'll probably take this one home and see what we can do with it. He like ain't rubbed terrible, but he's rubbed just a little bit. Uh, I think I can still do something with him. I keep him, tan him myself, so. It's a male. He's mean when I first come up here, but calm down. There's the remake. He dug one heck of a hole, so I just dug it on out some more and I set my trap a little deeper because he, wow, he made a mess, but he left me some turds there I put. We'll see what happens. Well, the landowner told me where the dam was at. There she is. This slide coming off the bank over there. There isn't very many beaver in here, I don't think. Uh Lack of sign, I tell you. I can't find a feed bed or nothing. Bank down, a run. I can't find anything. Something dammed it up. 
Uh, I'm gonna go get a 330. We'll break the damn seal. I put a brake in it. I fenced it off, put it deeper than I should because I know the water's gonna drop. But uh, I'm no beaver trapper. We're coming off right over there. I might bring a foothold. We'll see what happens. Ain't no fresh sign. I keep looking. There's old chewings up there. Uh, I don't see any offhand, but there's a bunch of old chewings up there. No runs. Can't figure them out. Y'all help me out down in the comments. That little white spot over there is a paper plate that I wired to a beaver chewed log that I stood there. So the white is show up up towards that dam. And we're real close to the only fresh beaver sign I found the other day. And there's a slider. There's a caster mount and a slider going down in there. That paper plate's what I used to cut up my caster on the other day. I smeared glycerin on it and put it in a bag. I don't know if it'll work, but you gotta try new things, huh? <laughs> That's some kind of tracks right there. They look old. But I come down here and I can't see my trap and there's no animal out there. <sighs> there's the chain and buried my trap. I don't know what that was. That's pretty weird. Uh, I put my turnip right there. Ain't nothing bothered it for three days. I cannot find a beaver to save my butt. Uh, uh, moving on. I don't know if you can see it or not. Looks like a beaver moved in. We're going to see if I'm catching that. All right. I finally put my waders on. The thing about this place is, I'm clear up to there. It's mud on the bottom. It's sand's what it is. And you sink. Uh, I pulled my beaver set there. What I told you had the paper plate. No action. I haven't had any action on muskrats in a little while, so... I pulled my beaver set and I put it way back yonder. I've been walking, looking for beaver runs. Well, I felt something bump into me. Now, is this beaver being a smart aleck or what? <laughs> That's the same kind of wood he was chewing on back yonder and I've never seen a chew stick. That's the first one I've seen. And it's fresh. But it comes from up there where I put that trap. But I found a cool find. A little kid's gun laying over here. Now I feel like I'm SEAL team. <laughs> We're gonna set some muskrats up there under the bridge. Move them around a little bit, see if we can catch some. Uh, uh, I'm under the old bridge. And uh, I have found muskrat, deer, coyote, uh, I think I even found otter tracks. I don't know what an otter track really looks like, to be honest with you. But I brought a trap down here. And I put it right there. It's just starting to come visible. I'm going to put another one right back there. My beaver sets right over there. And we'll check her tomorrow. Well, this is where I catch most of them bobcats. And coyotes. Over an inch of rain last night, and he had to do that. I don't even think I can reset it. I'll bring another trap tomorrow, I guess. Uh, I'm not telling you. I found just about every track known to man. I found uh, fox tracks back yonder. But I am having a hard time walking in this stuff. Well... I don't know how many that is, but most of them's in this set. <sighs> it's getting old. Alright. We're gonna test out the Gen 3i and Gamo. Even though I ordered a Gen 2. We'll just go about right here. <sighs> Uh. <laughs> it's like 
We got a entrance and no exit with a 21, I think it's a 21.1 or 4 or hang on a second. Uh, I see he's right here. Twenty-one point one four. It did the job. He didn't even move. Y'all, I see something jumping down there. I'm not sure what I got here. Coyote. Yeah, we got another coyote. Good, good. Way cool. Boy, he don't look good. These coyotes in here are sick. Uh, uh. I don't know, maybe he's just muddy. We'll look at him. Nah, his guard hairs is missing. He just rubbed a little bit. He's not sick. Uh, boy, I'm glad to get you out of here. Mercy sakes, you made a mess, boy. Uh, well, hold still. I'm trying to look. You ain't going to. I think it's a male. Y'all, it's been a long season. I have snagged some critters. But I'd like to congratulate Boxy Outdoors for one thing. <laughs> He caught his first coyote. I'm so happy for him, it's unreal. I just caught one. That's my third one this year. It's been a slow year and a lot of work. Got a few days left of season. I'm gonna push her to the end. It's been a long, tough year. Finally, finally. Whew. Got help coming this time. I can hear him. All right, y'all seen me do this many times. We're doing double dirt hole again. It, this was a step down with about a five inch hole. That thing dug, I couldn't even tell where the hole was at. I just moved the trap over. Haven't done that yet this year, I don't know why. That's my spray can cap. If you haven't seen it before, my long call goes in that center piece. Uh, that hole drafts a little bit like a chimney and it comes out right there. I like white when there's no snow because it looks like a bone. Does not bother them coyotes at all, especially not bobcats. Caught a lot of critters that way. Uh, we caught critters like that last year. Uh, bobcat too. Well, something's a jumping around up here. See what Ah, I think we caught our first Ricky of the year and there's only like two days left of season. <laughs> Holy crap. I usually catch quite a few. Looks like the one and a half got him on one of my double sets. Ooh, he's rubbed pretty hard. He set them both off though. No, well, he's not rubbed hard. I thought he was. That's a pretty one. We'll take them. Well, it's the fourth time I've tried to get my GoPro to work. <laughs> that deer down in here, I don't know how he didn't sink to his neck. But I've got a muskrat over there. This is where I fell off the bank and went through the ice. I haven't seen any muskrat tracks for a while. Uh, probably a week. I moved some sets around. Looks like we got a good one. Ah, nothing in that one. Where you at there, buddy? Oh my, that's a good one. The old jump trap. I wish I had some more of them both front feet. Dag up. Awesome. Nobody traps for these. Uh, nobody's trapped this place in a long time, but that's a good size rat. It's gonna be a pretty fur. 
I'm happy to get those. We're gonna try to make mittens or something. We'll do a video, hopefully. On to the next. My chain's tight again. Yeah, it's tight. I don't see anything. Oh, good grief. This is gonna be tough. Uh. Uh. Let's see. Oh man, we got a miss in the jump trap. That one's caught more than anything. Supposed to get an inch of rain tonight. We didn't catch anything today, but tomorrow's the last day. I moved my water sets up a little higher, but I looked at the radar and it didn't look like that much rain to me. It's going north of us, so I'm playing the odds. We're gonna run her to the end. Two of my sets. We got a red fox on camera up here. Uh, I've got two traps in each set. And he keeps digging my sheep's wool out and licking the bait off of it. I've tried all predator bait, uh, Tandy's grub staker, and my own. And I've tried blocking him. He's a smart one. We got one more night to catch him. We'll <clears throat> Y'all tell me, about an inch wide. That's the last day and I'm pulling. Them jump traps is the best traps I've ever used in my life. Right there it is. I love them things. Pulling traps for the year is kind of bittersweet. Good. Now we'll be looking to see if we can find a beaver. And pretty soon we'll be tanning hides. I've even got a beef hide and a deer hide to do. I got some things I need to make for people. Gotta hurry because turkey season's right around the corner. Join me next time and we'll have another adventure for you. Thank you for coming to Owls Outdoors. We love you. Always share your fire.